What's up guys, welcome back to the Bianconeri zone and here we go Pogba, basically. Uh, I put a question mark because it's not 100% done and like, we still maybe need to wait for the real here we go, as people want to say, like the tapping, uh, here we go, but <coughs> this video is Pogba, here we go, 99%. Uh, before we get into it, it's a new extra daily video we're going to do. Uh, during the summer <clears throat> early video drop for the late news so like the video subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and yeah let's get into it so the news is Pogba here we go uh, basically it's uh, Gazette dello Sport and I want to say it's Fabiano della Valle so Gazette dello Sport Fabiano della Valle so it's good news um, and she said Pogba to Juve is done Allegri and the project were decisive in choosing for Juve three year deal ready he'll sign a deal until 20 five at 10 million euros plus bonus people saying seven plus bonuses <laughs> let's see what that will be the issue the issue the news is it's done that's what has been reported that's what nico shira saying giovanni albanese um, mirko di natale just name it all of them are saying the same thing and that what they're saying is uh pogba to juve is is done it's done um i think we all had that feeling that it was moving towards it's being done uh, you know there were some reports saying suggesting not saying suggesting that pg come will be coming with a better offer um, for to me that made always little sense because juve were not change, changing their offer so why would psg change their offer like it was better than juve's offer so that didn't make sense it was solely based on pogba's decision to go to psg or to go to juve and apparently he chose juve um so we can talk about it now i mean we talked about it at length you know i think i think a lot of people are happy with pogba like i'm happy with pogba i'm not over the moon because i have some doubts not about his technical ability more so with his consistency because that changed when he joined Ma joint menu it was not as consistent with us people say it's it's menu all those things but that's kind of an issue and his injury record the last two years is also an, in, uh, an issue and that was a big issue for us this season like injuries missing players um so that's that's the main issue i think the biggest issue a lot of people have me included not an issue is we thought we were going for savage i'm not saying we will get savage but we all had savage in our mouth in our head excuse me and in the last two weeks i would say especially the last seven days the pogba to youth news took off like i want to say out of nowhere because there were some rumblings but it it, it went from 20 percent to 99 percent in seven days so it took off so it was pretty clear it's gonna be pogba because he's free you don't need to spend 70 mil like you will need to do to buy savage uh so for the club it makes more sense you know it's free you save quote unquote 70 million to spend in different positions and we will talk on what positions we will spend but for the club it makes sense you know get Pogba back on a free he knows the club he knows Allegri so he can come in he knows the league and he will kind of do his job from the get-go you know so it makes sense for the club 100% it also makes sense for Pogba in my opinion because people say oh but no ambition go PSG I'm like I think he strikes me at the guy especially after that menu period that he needs stability in terms of and people say ah oh, it's not stable at the club on the field no off the field he will be supporting it's not like menu like they throw you under the bus if you're not english it is what it is um i think he needs that he needs to be felt loved supported and that's what he will get with us from allegri from the club basically um so <laughs> it's kind of done um I think the most positive thing is the club is getting their targets in really really soon like this is i would say unprecedented you know if you get Pogba and Di Maria also Di Maria is kind of done it's done they're only discussing one plus one or one it's done but you're getting the deals done now it's May like we play Fiorentina today so the season is not basically over but you already kind of signed two players you know Last season, we had Locatelli a few days before the season started and Ronaldo left during, like, after the first game. That was a mess. It looks like this season, the club wants to have the targets in 
for training camp like the main guys the starting players they want him in for training camp basically which is very positive you know it's it's ultra positive that's what we need we need those players in training camp so that they can start you know and have some time with the squad to bat in because we will make a lot of changes so it's not a guarantee that we will start next season first game of the season at home against Cremonese or away and we'll take off immediately because we'll be replacing three to four players in a starting 11 apparently so it will take time so it's only good positive that these players come in very early you know uh, so i'll give the club credit for them because if those two players are the main targets we can discuss if they should be the main targets but if they're the main targets and you get them in smoothly quickly like even before the season basically ended that's perfect and add to that that you removed removed like Berneski is gone um Berneski is gone Dybala the way we play a lot of people say it's better to have Di Maria in a 4-3-3 I kind of agree but like all these things after the season we had it looks like okay the club has a direction now you can say it's the wrong direction you know get an injury prone quote-unquote player a finished quote-unquote player on uh, on the team that's not a direction we can debate that for a different show during a live show or so but they're getting their targets in really quickly they're moving really fast like the idea like the plan is clear at this point we know who we want who we want out like last season or previous season it was like what are we gonna do is he gonna leave do we actually want to sell him you know or them uh, do we want to bring in player Y, player X? It was never clear. This season, it looks very, very clear, you know, and that's that's very positive. You know, it looks like the club is getting serious now, uh, which is good. After a season we had, um, it's very good. It's, it's only positive. So Pogba, here we go, quote unquote, 99%. Let me know in the chat what you guys think about the deal. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you prefer something else? Or are you like... Are you like um let me see um let's see if there's some breaking news no not really breaking news um but yeah let me know in the chat also there will be a breakdown at coaches corner if you are new to the channel julian does great stuff with the coaches corner he will break down pogba but we already know Pogba, but he will break, break down Di Maria. He will go into stats and all those things. So stay tuned for that if they sign, of course. Um, but yeah, Pogba, here we go. Basically 99% sure. Almost here we go, uh, which is good. I will say it's good. Um, let's see how that will develop today. Maybe next week. I, I expect if it's not today around midday, 2 p.m. my time, then it will be for Monday, Tuesday. Uh but let's see how that will develop. Also, the Di Maria thing, really quickly. Same boat is kind of done. They're just discussing a few details. One plus one, two, all those things. But apparently, that's not the issue. It will get done also next week. That's what everybody is saying. So, Di Maria, Pogba, that's the breaking news in terms of it's 99% done, you know. Um, but that's not the only breaking news. <laughs> because somehow, we are moving like madmans. You know, and Nico Shira broke the next part, the next bit of news, and that's for the defender. You know, there were rumors about Gabriel Badeshile, a little bit Milankovic, but it looks like at the moment Gabriel Magalhaes from Arsenal is the main target. Uh, and Nico Shira saying talks in, pro talks in progress between Juventus and the agent Giuliano Bertolucci for the Brazilian center back Gabriel Magalhaes, who is one of the of Juve's main target as Kirini replacement. Uh, Juve are ready to open talks with Arsenal after the first approaches this week. Um, the club's moving crazy. <laughs> like, it's moving really fast. We need to replace Kirini. Like, it cannot be Rugani, it cannot be Gatti. It needs to be a good, experienced center back. Gabriel, he was followed by the club for a while. At Leo, like, before he joined Arsenal, the club was following him. Now, is he my number one target? No, but I'm not running the club. You know, it's it's Juve who's running the club. Gabriel, he is he's a good center back. He's very talented. He can grow. That's the biggest, I want to say that, plus point. 
because he's sometimes he is too rash and too challenge like decisions he make and like it looks sometimes it looks like oh my god what are you doing like too rash a bit of Demiral but not too to that extent like Demiral do, does that more more frequently in my opinion but Gabriel has sometimes from those those head scratching moments where you're like oh my god you played three four amazing games and now you, you do this or like in the game like amazing and then you do this but he's very talented there's no question about it you know he's he's very strong in the air and he can score goals you know that's also positive if we have someone to take some set pieces for once but he can score goals he's very good in the air and i think the most important thing he's left footed you know on top of that he's young he can grow that's what we need because benucci is not going to stay forever i think the club will try to you know weed him out bit by bit you know starting with next season that would be a big investment, Gabriel, because I think they paid around 30 something for Gabriel. So they will at least, or some 27 with 30 with bonuses, they will at least ask for 40 million. And that's where Arthur kicks in because Arteta loves Arthur. He likes him. In January, we try to ship out Arthur to Arsenal. They want to want the only loan. The club say no loan. You need, yeah, you can have him alone with an obligation to buy. Arsenal said no. The rumors are now that Arsenal are going to say, yeah, we're going to buy him alone with an obligation to buy. And the club is trying to take advantage of the situation and try to basically move that negotiation for Ar negotiations for Arthur towards Gabriel, a center back, filling in need because Kalini is leaving. So that could be smart business. Again, Bremer, he's going to Inter, but the Chile yeah but you still need to get rid of arthur and the only offers arthur has is arsenal and betis sevilla and betis sevilla with his wages you know what's going to be the case maybe because they have fakir on high wages but like two of them i'm not sure about that and does arthur want to go from barca to juve to betis sevilla with all due respect you know um people say arsenal's not that good but like it's the premier league it's arsenal it's london uh so things can you know move really quickly in that regard uh so we need to you know we need to respect that um let's see if the club my camera switch off Ex apologies for that because that's really strange let me set that up um so we need to stay tuned for that um it's it's big new breaking news like there were some little rumors here and there but now if nico sira says who's a respected journalist then yeah you need to go with it we we're in for a center back and apparently the main target is gabriel Mikalaj. and di Marcio broke that before kickoff the venezia game i remember that like a few minutes before kickoff he, he dropped that bomb basically saying we we're looking at him you know serious looking at him at that time i was like what like that makes no sense you know uh but now it kind of makes sense you know uh when you think about it uh, maybe it was just because it was <laughs> before the Venezia game, before kickoff, a few minutes before kickoff. Uh, but we need to keep an eye on that, you know. Uh, I think that's a transfer that's not going to be done in one week time because there will be backlash from Arsenal fans. The club, Arsenal will haggle. Saliba is coming back, so we need to figure that out. You know, they have a lot of things to sort out. But at the moment, he's the kind of the main target. He is. He is at the back. It's him followed by Badashile. Um, but the strongest links are with Gabriel uh, compared to Badashile. But let's see how that will develop. Um, and then we move on to basically the last part of the news, and that's Perisic. It's for Vito Romano. He's saying, I'm not aware that Perisic has an agreement with any of the mentioned teams. Inter's offer is still on the table, but the current one is still not enough for Perisic to go ahead. Juve has inquired, but does not have an agreement. The rumors are all over the place. It's done. It's not done. You know, he doesn't want to join Juve. He wants to join Juve. Inter is going to sign him. Inter are not off. Like, it's all over the place. The latest news is Inter are going to offer 6 million, but it's going to be tied to appearances and all those stuff, something Pirsic doesn't like. That's the rumor. Apparently, the meeting is going to take place on Monday. So, Monday, we should have had, we should have a better idea of is Perisic an option for us? Uh, because the rumors are all over the place now, you know. Uh, I think we are in for him. We are interested. I don't think we've made an offer. I think we know what Perisic wants and the club knows we can reach that figure almost or for certain. And I think that's the news, you know. I don't think we made the offer. I don't think 
we had talks with his representative like extremely like in depth i don't think we did that i think they know we can do that deal because we we know what pierce is asking for and I think you is like let's wait what inter will say because he will listen to inter first if not i think the club will jump on the peter Sitch thing and people can say why all those things and i i agree i get why but i think he will do very well under allegri the only issue is yeah you have the maria 34 you have peter Sitch 30 something uh pogba 29 it's not all for for a midfielder but people say it's injuries and then you sit back and you're like are we making the same mistakes in terms of fix the fix short term fix excuse me instead of um, building for the future and yeah you will struggle in the first few seasons and then we move towards domination again but there's no guarantee you will dominate it it's just an idea you have i think the club is again a win no win now moment and that's adding experience experienced players with younger players who have experience but still need to win to prove themselves like the league Locatelli, Chiesa, Flaovic, you know, surround them with experienced players. Um, I think that will work in Serie A because Peter is just still one of the best players in Serie A. Pogba will be that, in my opinion, and Di Maria can do that also. So that's the whole issue. Oh, that's the entire point of the situation. Going into Europe, I think we will struggle. I'm pretty sure, you know, you're not going to reach the final. Um... You, you will kind of compete like we should have done this season, even with the squad we have. But if you're going to say you're going to reach the Champions League final, I, I don't believe that, you know. Uh, but let's see. In Syria, I think they will do perfectly. I know why the club is interested in Peter Sitch, because he will do exactly what Allegri loves in a player, you know. Um, but let's see. And people say, oh, and what about Chiesa? Chiesa's out for the first few months. And then if Chiesa comes back, we don't know how he comes back. Um, Berendeski's gone. Morata's gone. Dybala's gone. Like, there's a lot of work to be done. So I do believe we're in for Peter Sitch, But I think on Monday, we will have more information or like a more clearer, like how you want to say that, you know, view of the situation. If mm, he's going to say Inter or mm, there's a big chance we're going to sign him, you know. Um, so that's basically the news, the latest news um, that dropped midnight for me uh, so you guys are gonna see the videos it's a new show we're doing for people who wake up and the different side of the world you know um that's for them also not not only for them of course but that's that also like the channel subscribe like the video subscribe to the channel i'm sorry it's uh almost 2 a.m when i'm recording the video because it's a late news um so i'm struggling to find the right words but subscribe to the channel like the video because we have some big things coming for next season in the summer like the channel is gonna, not going to change but it's going to be much better in terms of quality types of show shows we're gonna do and all those things giveaways and all those stuff so thanks for watching and we will see you maybe very soon but here we go let's see ciao